Hello friends, the question is like this. We have to evaluate this definite integral as the limit of sum. And the integral is x plus 1 dx from 0 to 5. Okay. <clears throat> now to solve this definite integral using the definite integral as the limit of sum, first of all we take the given integral and we are going to apply this formula. fx dx from a to b is equal to limit of h tends to 0 h times f of a plus f of a plus h and so on up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h where n is equal to b minus a upon h and when h tends to 0 n tends to infinity okay now to apply this formula the main thing is first of all first half of the question depends upon how we calculate the sum if we calculate the sum in a systematic ma manner the Whole the question become very easy otherwise it becomes difficult to solve okay so first of all if we apply this formula then we can write this definite integral as limit of h tends to 0 h times f of 0 plus f of 0 plus h plus f of 0 plus n minus 1 into h okay so you can see that the lower limit a with respect to the lower limit a the sum is calculated because the lower limit was 0 so I I have uh, I've taken here f of 0 f of 0 plus h and f of 0 plus n minus 1 into h okay now further I can write n is equal to b minus a upon h so 5 minus 0 upon h b represents the upper limit a represents the lower limit and I get n is equal to 5 upon h or 5 is equal to n h right now as fx is equal to x plus 1 okay so I'm going to calculate f0 and this will be equal to 0 plus 1 so 0 is spaced because other terms are to be written below it that is why next f of 0 plus h would be equal to 0 plus h plus 1 you see this constant is going to remain unchanged for each term for x first term is 0 second term is 0 plus h f of 0 plus 2h it, is, it was not given in the formula but to make it very clear that uh, how we are getting the total I have calculated one term more f of 0 plus h so this will be equal to 0 plus 2h plus 1 and so on up to the last term f of 0 plus n minus 1 into h and this will be equal to 0 plus n minus 1 into h plus 1 okay so if we are going to total all these terms so all the terms on the left hand side are going to give me a total f of a f of a plus h up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h right the 0 0 0 are going to add to give me 0 so I have nothing to write here here the all the terms of h would be h plus 2h and so on up to n minus 1 into h and this 1 1 1 at n times to give me n note 1 1 1 when added is going to give me n okay so I've write I've written this directly okay so next is is the solvation of this total okay so to solve this total it is a sort of an important information first of all I'm going to take H as common so I can write this as 1 plus 2 and so on up to n minus 1 the sum of this series 1 plus 2 up to n minus 1 is given as n into n minus 1 uh, upon 2 by applying the formula of sigma n which is equal to n into n plus 1 upon 2 okay so this will give me h times n into n minus 1 upon 2 and writing this value I get this total as h times n into n minus 1 upon 2 plus n okay so the value of x plus 1 dx from 0 to 5 is equal to limit of h tends to 0 into h and for this total we have written h into n into n minus 1 upon 2 plus now as you can see if we, we cannot take the limit right now because if I'm going to take the limit I have another variable n also and limit of n tends to infinity so I'm going to get rid quickly of this one of the variable n that is I want that my limit should before applying the limit 
this value should contain only one variable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this h in the bracket and this h, this n into h can be written nh, this h is going to be written when multiply in this bracket I'm going to get nh minus h and this h is going to multiply with n to give me nh. Okay, now I can write nh is equal to 5 because n into h give me 5. Okay, so I have 5 times 5 minus h upon 2 plus 5. If I, so first of all, um, I have only one variable here that is h. Now if I place h tends to 0 then I do not obtain any indeterminate form. Okay, so on placing h equal to 0, I get 5 into 5 minus 0 upon 2 plus 5 that is 35 upon 2. This value is 25 upon 2 on heading with 5 I get 35 upon 2 which is my required answer. So this is how I'm going to solve this question. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest update, subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.